Welcome to the DARPA Triage Challenge held at the Guardian Center in Perry, Georgia. In this immersive overview, you'll experience how teams of innovators, engineers, and DARPA are redefining the future of combat casualty care. Imagine yourself in the field. You are a medic responding under pressure. Every second is critical. Every decision, life or death. Get ready. Here we go. What is going on? I'm a medic, I'm here for you, all right? You are now seeing what a medic sees as he encounters a casualty with an abdominal you know evisceration. His name? urgency, you know his focus, his precise movements, every second matters. This challenge was designed to replicate that intensity, to test how quickly and accurately systems can identify, assess, and prioritize the wounded in a chaotic environment, as fast or faster than the medics do. I got you, don't worry. You are now standing in the heart of the DARPA triage challenge, the command center, the operational brain for the entire event. A competition run is just starting for Team Dart, our all UAV team and top scorer for the competition. Here, every aspect of the competition is monitored and controlled in real time. The test director, CETA teams, and IVNV partners from the Naval Information Warfare Center Atlantic and Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab work side by side to ensure every run is fair, consistent, and scientifically rigorous. The monitors ahead of you from left to right display the following. On screen one, the competition scoreboard. On screen two, live feeds from various locations around the event that laser focus on competition runs during their execution. On screens three and five, a competitor team's system status during competition runs. On screen four, the Titan scoring system's live dashboard. And on screen six, the Grafana visualization system display of the ground truth physiology and sensor status for each simulated casualty in the mass casualty incident. Just below the command center lies the casualty preparation area, the workshop of realism. Each day, more than 200 casualties are readied for the challenge. Some are live actors, others are advanced mannequins, all meticulously moulaged to replicate real world injuries. Each casualty, whether human or mannequin, follows a documented injury script, ensuring identical conditions across multiple trials. This standardization enables the level of scientific rigor and the repeatability necessary to ensure that each team faces the same scenario under the same conditions, allowing meaningful comparison of results. Once moulage is complete, casualties are equipped with physiologic sensors, uniforms, and vital signs transmitters to provide continuous ground truth data during every run. Now we move to the casualty moulage area on the first floor adjacent to casualty prep. Here, makeup artists replicate realistic wounds that medics and robots will need to assess during the competition. For challenge event number two, more than 750 casualties were fielded during the eight-day competition, and over 400 units, or 50 gallons of simulated blood, was spilled to maximize our realism. We are now at the start of a competition course at the night ambush site. Team AirTags is preparing for their competition run. Their UAV and UGV, the green lights ahead, are positioned at the launch zone. The team is busy preparing their systems, confirming that they are communicating with the scoring server and their robots. Some of the teams process their sensor data on servers, others rely on edge computing and only transmit their reports. Most teams are still navigating manually, while a few attempted fully autonomous navigation and casualty location and assessment. The command center signals the start. Action, 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 start, run, start, run. And the robots surge into motion. Okay, tell me when the dog's going autonomous. Shut up. Or tell me when you've got a... Um, I feel naked, I see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, when you've got a point. Shut up. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to yell a hey, lot. Drums yeah. autonomous. Okay. Okay, cool. Yes. 
It is quasi autonomous. I do final adjustment here. Okay. And I can take control. So one casualty in front of the truck on the road. Good. Before competition runs begin, casualties are geotagged, their wounds are photographed, and every vital sign monitor is verified through the Titan server to provide real-time telemetry so that casualty ground truth is nearly indisputable. Some casualties are even fitted with bleeding simulators that respond to tourniquets and other interventions, creating a lifelike experience for robotic systems and human medics alike. Around the site, camouflaged observation tents house spotters who monitor safety and ensure casualties stay in character. Casualties, using a simple red and green flag system, maintain communication without disrupting the competition. As the aerial drones scan from above and ground vehicles weave through obstacles below, each are searching for and assessing casualties. Every detection and every triage assessment is transmitted live to the command center. This is more than a competition. It's a stress test for technologies that could one day change how medics operate in combat, disaster zones, and beyond. And now, one of the most exciting milestones of DARPA Trio's challenge event number two, the human-machine teaming runs. For the first time, medics and autonomous systems work together in a live, simulated mass casualty incident to find, assess, triage, and manage casualties with the intent to save the most lives possible. Team's UAVs were launched five minutes ahead of the medics, providing aerial assessments that fed directly into handheld ATAC devices so that when the medics notionally arrived on scene, they already knew where to go, guided by data from their robotic teammates. Medics worked with robots on the ground to find any casualties missed by the UAVs, assess them, and quickly provide life-saving interventions. Medics felt comfortable instructing their robotic we'll teammates when needed. Hey, can you hear me? Can you tell me what happened? Go to the next patient, go to the next patient. In one striking moment, a robot alerted a medic directly. Medics, medics, this patient has a critical injury. This is Apollo. Medics, medics. I'll be right with you, Apollo. That collaboration between human and machine represents a glimpse into the future of life-saving care. Faster, safer, and more coordinated than ever before. And here are the final scores for challenge event number two of the DARPA Triage Challenge. This competition brought together some of the brightest minds in robotics, data science, and medicine to tackle one of humanity's most enduring challenges, how to save lives faster and more safely in the most extreme conditions. The DARPA Triage Challenge, where innovation, courage, and compassion come together to shape the future of life-saving care.
Thank you. 